I'm Dr. Neil Renault, optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, and I want to talk to you today about learning related vision problems. And first, before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We try to post lots of content about vision therapy and how it can be helpful potentially for you or a loved one. So make sure to subscribe. All right, learning related vision problems. This is an extremely uh, large part of our practice. About one in four children experience learning related vision problems to some degree, which is a very large percentage of the classroom. And about 80% of what we learn in school comes through our visual sense, more than all other senses combined. And so why is it so prevalent? One in four kids struggle with their eyes when it comes to learning. Uh, think about this, for, for hundreds, thousands of years, we were looking far away. We were using our eyes to see animals, to spot enemies, uh, farming. We were using our eyes out at a far distance, spending brief periods of time up close. Then about 100 years ago, everything changed. Kids started going to school, and in, in America it became mandatory to go to school. Everyone was learning how to read, to write, spending hours and hours and hours of time with their eyes focused up close. So we have these eyes that are designed to see perfectly far away where they're relaxed, but we're spending hours a day up close looking at books, homework. Now we're looking at screens more than ever. So there's this fundamental mismatch of how we're using our eyes. They're designed to see far and we're using them up close. So a lot of kids can fatigue and get worn out with this problem. And reading is really the most complex and challenging thing we do with our eyes. Anytime we're reading, we need to converge or point our eyes inward up close. We also need to zoom in like a camera. We need to make that vision clear and single. Then we need to move our eyes across the page, tiny word to tiny word across each of those targets, rapidly processing and making sense of what we're reading while also keeping our spot on the page. There's, there's not really anything that's more challenging than that to do with your eyes, yet we do it all day long. And for about one in four children, they, uh, do, they have not developed the neurological pathways to be able to coordinate their eyes up close. Even if they can see 20-20 far away, 20-20, they don't, they don't spend much of their day looking 20 feet away. They're spending their whole day right here where lots of muscles are flexing and working. So some common signs and symptoms of a child struggling with their vision while reading and learning would be any child who's behind in reading, there could be a vision problem, whether they're a slow reader, struggle with comprehension, difficulty spelling and doing visualization like spelling and mental math. Um, they may even be symptomatic and struggle with headaches, nausea when they're reading, lots of frustration and shorter attention span with up close work because their eyes are so uncomfortable. They can get sore eyes, eye strain, um, or even visual fatigue where their eyes get very tired and exhausted while reading. So those are some big signs to watch out for. But you can also check out our website, eagleeyevisiontherapy.com right here, and click on the visual symptom survey. And you can walk through those questions with your child and see if there's any visual symptoms and signs that they're experiencing. At the end, when the score is calculated, it can tell you if there's a high likelihood of a vision problem or not that's impacting learning. You can also call our office at 616-848-7548, and we can walk you through our process and see if vision is getting in the way of reading and learning and even comprehension and paying attention. So thank you for watching this. If you have a connection with this video and want to learn more, check out our website or give us a call. And we're always happy to help and, and inform you to see if vision therapy could be potentially an option that, that helps your child. Thanks for watching.